Welcome back, future medicos. Few days ago, I have done a video on Karnataka comparing the performance of Karnataka students in 2024 and 2025. The data was based on the qualifying list given by NTA to the state. Now, subsequently, Andhra Pradesh has also released such a list the list that is produced by NTA to the state based on the candidate's indication of their state of eligibility in the NEET application. So in this video, we are going to look at a similar performance comparison for Andhra Pradesh, where we will be looking at the 2024 performance and 2025 performance. We will look at some key highlights from the comparison. Of course, please take note that this is not a prediction video. The purpose of this video is not to do any kind of prediction. But of course, along the way, you might have some kind of comparison that might help you to plan your counseling a little bit better. But of course, I'm not going to tell you exactly what is going to be the predicted cutoff for this year. So as I said, the analysis is based on the qualifying rank list given by NTA for Andhra Pradesh state in 2024 and 2025. Of course, I have not taken the merit list released by the university after reviewing all the applications and uh, reviewing all the documents. There is a, uh, subsequently, there will be a merit list. Of course, I have not taken the merit list because if I take the merit list, it would be extremely difficult to compare the NTA uh, qualifying list and the merit list. Of course, the merit list is the better one, but we cannot compare the merit list against the qualifying rank list. So I have taken both qualifying rank list of 2024 and 2025 for comparison. So let's look at the score range. That is how many candidates have scored above 700. In 2024, we had 61 candidates. In 2025, there are none. Above 650, we had 685 candidates in 2024 compared to just five candidates in 2025. Above 600, 2,410 in 2024 and just 77 in 2025. This is above 600 means from 600 to 720 marks. Everyone included, the cumulative numbers. Above 550, you could see that almost like just 10 percentage. From 4945, it is about 442. Above 500, 7,891 versus 1,813 candidates. So there are numbers, you can see the numbers at every range, every 50 marks I have taken and I have produced. So as you could see, even the total number of candidates qualified NEET exam, there is a, a substantial difference compared to 2024 and 2025. In 2024, there were almost like 44,000 candidates, whereas in 2025, we have only 37,000 candidates, roughly. So that's a difference of about 7,000 candidates or lesser uh, for Andhra Pradesh state compared to 2024. Now let's also look at the how many candidates are there in terms of range of All India rank. Now if you look at in terms of the topper, in 2024 the topper from Andhra Pradesh had an All India rank of 44, whereas this year the candidates have performed better and the topper from Andhra has an All India rank of 19, which is a better performance. So that better performance is not only the topper. Throughout the All India rank range, you could see that uh, the state has performed better than last year in terms of All India rank. Of course, don't look at the NEET score. NEET score itself is not a comparison. We have to look at right the All India rank last year and the All India rank this year. So if you take the top 5,000 All India ranks, last year we had only 154 candidates from Andhra Pradesh. Whereas this year, we have 209 candidates, which is about 55 candidates more, which is like almost like, what, 30, 33%, somewhere around that. There is an increase of candidates in the top 5,000 All India ranks. Now, this is almost in every range. From 5,000 to 10,000 All India ranks, you could see that 117 to 170. So that's about, again, almost like 53 candidates more in that particular 5,000 rank uh, range, right? 5,000 range. Then from 10,000 to 15,000, again, you could see that the 2025 data is higher. Only in two buckets, one between 70,000 to 75,000, you could see it's a slightly lesser number, about six candidates lesser this year in this range. 
And then 80 to 85,000, again, there is about 20 candidates lesser. Except these two buckets, all the other buckets, you could see that the 2025 performance is better than 2024 performance. Now, what does it mean? One indication, since there are more candidates in the top 5,000 ranks, probably some candidates could move towards the All India Counseling. They may get better seats this year, which may indicate the toppers, some of them might miss out or might not participate in the state council. And another conclusion we could make is, in terms of All India rank, if you are compared purely All India rank in terms of cutoff, certainly this year the cutoff will increase in terms of All India rank. So it's going to be tougher. For example, last year, someone with 100,000 rank got a seat. Probably this year you should have a better rank to get the same seat. So in terms of need score, a lower score, but in terms of all India rank, you need a better rank. Okay, now we will see the comparison. So I'm, I have taken few categories. Once again, I'm not looking at all the categories because the purpose is not for prediction. That's why I'm not taking all the categories. I have just taken randomly few categories uh, where I had the complete data and then I'm going to show you. Of course, using this, roughly you can extrapolate for your own category. Uh, so once again, the purpose is not for doing prediction. Just to show you what is the difference between last year and this year in terms of particular category is what I am trying to do. The first one I am looking at is Andhra Pradesh non-local APNL local area and category wise is BCA. For this 2024, the All India rank closing rank uh, for government seats. Of course, I am not considering the management quota or category B, I'm not considering here. I'm only looking at category A, uh, compete and authority quota seats. You could see that the All India rank closing rank is 105708. Please understand, I have taken all the uh, counseling until the end. Round one, round two, round three, round three revised, stay round, stay round one, revised, stay round, uh, revised special stay round, right? There were many rounds that were conducted nearly six or seven rounds. The last round, what was the cutoff I have taken, which is 105,708. If I look at the state position from the NTA list last year, once again, this is not the state rank. If you look at the rank list, probably the number might be slightly better. But I'm looking at the last year uh, NTA rank list for this All India rank, which is 3,520 and need marks 575. So if I look, Look at these 3520 this year, this year qualifying list given by NTA. This 3520 state position is equivalent to 468 marks, which is a difference of 107 marks compared to last year. So the drop is roughly around 107 marks. And in terms of All India rank, you could see that this is 94,000 this year. Last year it was 105,000, but this year, it, it has become 94,000. You have state rank of 3,500. Last year, if someone with 105,000 All India rank, he could get this rank. But this year, you need to be better. You need to have 94,000 All India rank, then only you can get this state position. And what is the difference in tough All India rank? Roughly around 11,000 is the All India rank difference. So in terms of need score, it is coming down. In terms of All India rank is also coming down in the sense, you need a better rank. Let's look at one more category, AU, BCA. Now you look at this last year, the closing rank was around 120,000. And if you compare, the difference is roughly around 105 marks based on last year qualifying rank list and this year qualifying rank list. And in terms of all India rank, the difference is around 12,000. And AU, I looked at BCC category. Once again, you could see the difference is about 105 marks. And in terms of all India rank, again, it's around 12,000 all India rank. AU, BCD, I look at it, the difference is about 110 marks and All India rank is about 11,500. And also I looked at SVU, uh, BCC category, the difference is about 92 marks here and uh, the All India rank is about 10,500. So as you could see across the categories, typically the difference is around 100 to 110 marks seems to be the difference which is very similar to the Karnataka performance comparison when I did, that was also somewhere around the this range, around 110, 115 kind of difference was seen in that uh, state also. All India rank-wise difference I didn't do for Karnataka, but here I have done, which is somewhere about 
10,500 ranks to 12,000 ranks seems to be the range that could fluctuate compared to last year. But again, it depends on the state merit list, uh, which is again based on the document verification, the number of candidates uh, participating in the counseling, the number of candidates going to All India Counseling. These all will make an impact on this uh, difference, but roughly you could use these numbers. Now, some of the key highlights from 2024, which I wanted to highlight. One, I found the top 104 candidates from the NTA qualifying list did not take any seat in the state. 104 candidates. The top 104 candidates from the NTA qualifying list did not take up the state seat allotment, which is probably a good news for the Andhra Pradesh students, particularly those who are in the mid-range. Probably the top 104 candidates might be going somewhere. I don't know whether they go to JEE, whether they go to All India Counseling, whether they go to AIMS, whether they go to JITMER. We don't know. But 104 candidates did not participate last year or at least did not take a seat last year. Even though I said the topper from Andhra Pradesh last year had an All India rank of 44, the first candidate to take a seat from the state government had an All India rank of 3231. This is the first candidate. 44, probably he might have gone to maybe like AIMS, Delhi possibly. Whereas 3231 is the first candidate who is taking a seat within the uh, Andhra Pradesh state seat allotment. And interestingly, this All India Rank 3231, who was the first candidate to get a seat, did not take a government college. This particular candidate chose NRI Medical College Chinakakani or NRI Medical College Guntur, which is a private medical college. And of course, the candidate took it under government seat. Particularly Tamil Nadu students, sir, sir, government college is a private college. That is number one. That is the state. 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 Private college like government court and alter lechon. Sir in alter lechon and charge pandrangalana, do ill anger the Kundubi wearing you vacirang and alter lechatalande, Silla college is long Kundubi yetter lechatala vacirang. In yetter lechon charge pandi, Rudar and difference, Avlo difference and then it's ema, there will be a more inclination towards government colleges. But Matta state like Andhra Mari state lala and the Mari problem ella, you know, sixty thousand versus. 15,000, 20,000, people are okay, right? If you have a private college or a government seat, they are willing to go there. Okay, so this is the information I wanted to share. I hope this information is useful to you. What is your findings from the Andhra qualifying rank list? Did you find anything special? I hope this will be useful. This will help you to do a better analysis from your side. Thank you. Bye-bye.